Tennessee, and today this is a masculine Monday. We masculine. have, <laughs> we have a man. <laughs> he is an incredible violinist, and he's played with us on a number of occasions. And Nick, can you just give a super quick introduction of who you are to our audience? Sure. Yeah, I live in Maryland, Columbia, Maryland, and I teach philosophy at a community college, and I teach violin, and viola, and um, also play on the weekends and play the violin um, for. Weddings like us. And, yeah, <laughs> for, for conferences and all sorts of things. Yeah, and he's super talented. And today we want to talk about chivalry because um, we have been around him several times, and we have just witnessed such a chivalrous, you know, um, presence and just like really his touched. attitude and <laughs> how he treats women, how he relates to us women. And I wanted to start with a story. One time we were at a conference <laughs> together, all of us, mm-hmm. and it was in a really cold place. It was, there was tons of ice, and we were walking outside, and he took our bags to carry it, and he was carrying <laughs> all of our bags on one arm. And then the other arm, he had like this, I was sitting next to him and the arm next to me was free. And so I was like, um, Nick, do you want to carry some bags? Like you're carrying like tons of bags, like your whole arm is covered. And he's like, no, no, no. I'm like, well, do you want to move one of those bags to the other arm? And he's like, I'm trying to be like, it's like common sense. And he said, no, 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 I don't want to do that because I, I want to keep this arm free in case you slip on the ice and fall. I want it to be available to you. And I was like, what? Like, where did you come from? Um, so... We were so touched by that because you don't see that a lot today. Um, that kind attention. of chivalry, that level, yeah, mm-hmm. of attentiveness. So, how do you live out chivalry today? You know, what are some practical what is that ways? Like practically speaking? Yeah, uh, looking for little ways, uh, being uh, vigilant for mm-hmm. opportunities to, to serve, and such as yeah, such as uh, just opening the door, open, you know, yeah. pulling the chair mm-hmm. out, um, and or grabbing a coat or grabbing a bag or just things, ways to use my strength to serve, you mm. know, because if I don't use my strength, then I'm wasting it, you know, so yeah. it's, it, it doesn't fulfill its purpose, so it, strength is meant to be given away, so, and it doesn't, it doesn't mean it have to be heavy lifting necessarily all the time, it could just be a little thing, but, uh, Awesome. Well, tell us, how did you learn to do this? Is this something that you it just came naturally? You were just born with it? You know, you're four years old, and you're like, Mom, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, was it something that, that you learned from someone at some point? Has it been a, a pro- process, mm-hmm. or what's your story with that? Yeah, I would say it was a process of seeing older guys who were role models for me, mm-hmm. and uh, whether at um, Taekwondo uh, class or school or uh, Seminary or other other things, and and just seeing seeing that and observing that virtue and noticing I was lacking in mm-hmm. that and needed to be more attentive and, and and just learning you know from missed opportunities you know what could I have done better and uh, that sort of Saint Jose Maria Escriva um, mentality of if you mess up you just pick yourself up and, and go forward. Beautiful, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. so beautiful. And the saints too, just. You know, trying to aspire to be a little bit more like them. Mm-hmm. What do they do? Philip Saint Philip Neri and others. Um, but yeah, just my my father and my stepfather, just their character, and seeing my uh, some of my good friends and role models, like Jimmy Mitchell was a, was a yeah. mutual friend, and seeing him and and just the way that men treat women and or anyone, and it's just that you know men are to be serving others, and that's what a real man does, and so I have so much to learn and grow in. It's awesome. So, do you have any advice for the men out there who are yeah. listening? Yeah, guys, so, so um, I would say it's not disrespectful to offer a hand or or to help out, mm-hmm. and I think it's, it's, it's not that women can't, you know, do these things themselves. They're perfectly able to and strong <laughs> enough but it's, we can doors, it's not you know? yeah so it's not a, a it's not a disrespect or not acknowledging their strength but mm-hmm. just acknowledging my strength is just to be at their mm-hmm. service and uh, so little ways look for little ways and if you if you mess up and if you miss an opportunity don't worry you can still there's always another chance <laughs> fail forward and, yeah Get fail forward yeah so, exactly so um, just awesome. keep keep trying keep growing and let's grow together and and bring it back. 
Thank you so much. Thank you, Nick. Well, obviously, Nick's um, chivalry touched all of us, um, just how he treats women, not just us, his friends, but seeing him. Even just um, women he doesn't know. Women, oh, we witnessed it. Complete strangers, how he is always looking to serve. So um, that has touched us all, Nick. So thank, thank you. you for coming thank on you. today. Yeah. You. Um, you can find Nick at. Yeah, uh, I, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, St. Genesis is my little. Name and, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then Facebook, Facebook at Nixon Nixon. Dennis. Mm -hmm. awesome. um, and you can find us um, our website behisown.com Facebook and Instagram at Be His Own and Twitter at Be His, Be His Own, Own Music, Music. Bye. Thanks, Thanks for joining us Thank you. Thank you. Bye